all right everybody here we go putting this uh, flagpole on uh, as you can see you got it all measured out uh, taped down got the holes marked uh, it's roughly in the same spot as where the other one's gonna be or where the other one already is right there so I think I'm gonna piece this thing together here in a couple different segments of this video so uh, I don't have my kid with me to help me with some of the camera holding so I'm gonna kind of break in and out so there's my holes uh, I'm gonna drill them out here in a second and we'll go from there okay here we go now remember five sixteenths and probably about a six pack of beer before you start drilling holes in, in your boat uh, I waited till like 10 o'clock so that way I could have a drink and not feel guilty about it so here I go Oh yeah, and before you start doing this, make sure you look underneath. Make sure nothing's in there. You might get snagged on cables, stuff like that. All right, there's your four holes. I'll just kind of grab your bolts and make sure everything fits right. You know, you may have to widen them out a little bit depending on the threads. I think they're gonna be pretty good. That was a little tight. You gotta loosen them out a little bit, that's fine. No big, no big deal, no harm, no foul. You might need a little bit of flexibility when you when you get the damn bracket up there. So, all right. Okay, so here we go, just gonna kinda dry fit it, make sure stuff lined up right. Like I said, you, you might have to move stuff around and make sure them bolts go through there, make sure they all fit. Appropriately, you know, you may have to widen some of them out. No biggie. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna widen some of these out. She's kind of at an angle there, so I'm gonna just kind of tweak them a little bit. It's like those back two. Enough for government work. Now, now what you do is you take the tape off. Again, the tape just make sure you don't splinter that. Um, get some unnecessary splintering on the fiberglass. And... Sounds like somebody in my neighborhood has got a smoke alarm going off. All right, there you go. Nice clean holes. Now, you can use any kind of caulking and shit that you want. This is what I use. It's indoor, outdoor stuff. It's really good, real easy to work with. Um, it's clear. Um, you know, anything that's got silicone is a, is a mess. But you can use white, whatever color you want. But I prefer to use clear. You know, you want to get a good, good goop of it on there. You can clean up a lot of this stuff get down in the holes, prevent some unnecessary drainage down in, in between your. Doesn't have to be pretty right now.
you know, I need a little bit wider silicone there, silicone bead. I like to have it just kind of ooze out and then clean it after the fact. Sorry, I'm just kind of talking and going as, as I go here. Oh, damn it. This one's not a very entertaining video, sorry. But, hopefully, you know, somebody wants to do this stuff, we give them a good, good basis to go off of. Okay, there you go, there's the top side. Now. What well, I'm going to show you, there's two ways you can do this. If you're old and decrepit like me, what I mean by old and decrepit is in my 40s, you can try to squeeze your ass in there, or you can try to squeeze your 14-year-old son in there and have him do it, or you can just take your damn speaker out. I'm going to go that route. I'm going to go in there, because it's only a hand, you know, about a foot away from my hand. I'm going to go in there with a lock washer, my bolt. Actually, I take that back. And put that metal bracket in that I was talking about in the last video. My hands are a little sticky from that silicone the washer stuck to my finger. There we go, I got one started. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, sorry for the lack of entertainment on this one, but off my hands I'm gonna cut out here in a minute we'll come right back okay I don't remember exactly where I left off but I was going through the speaker so here we go went through the speaker and I got everything mounted right there there it is nice and tight good seal good kind of custom tweak that a little bit that seal around there there it is I just let it dry for about 24 hours before we put a flag in there uh, maybe before you put a flag and you know go riding riding around a boat with it and stuff so you should let it kind of tack up and you should be in business there you go and then there's the other one and that's it so uh hope I answered any questions maybe gave you guys some good good insight on you know mounting your own flag uh, you got any, any other questions feel free to let me know uh, I got a couple messages about my stereo system so I might after this video kind of walk through my stereo system uh, and uh, just kind of let everybody know what I have and uh, what's available type stuff um, these boats these uh, 
Yamaha boats are really easy to set up and have a great sounding system in it. So, uh, all right. Talk to you later.